Ahoy, pirates! Welcome to Leak Code 2179. Count good triplets in an array. Let's dive right into the problem. You're given two arrays, nums1 and nums2, which are permutations of numbers from 0 to n minus 1. Our task? To count how many triplets XYZ exist, where their positions are strictly increasing in both arrays. At first, this seems like a simple position comparison, right? But here's the catch. Brute force will get us stuck in the weeds. We need a more efficient approach. Here's the strategy. First, map every value in nums2 to its index. It's like creating a treasure map. You need to know where everything is buried before you start digging. This lets us convert nums1 into a new array where each value is replaced by its index in nums2. Now, the arrays are aligned, and all we have to do is look for increasing triplets in this transformed array. The next step? Enter the Fenwick tree, also known as a binary index tree. It's a smart tool for efficiently keeping track of prefix sums. With this, we can count how many valid elements are smaller than the current one and how many are larger. As we iterate through nums1, each element becomes the middle of a potential triplet. For each one, we calculate two things, how many smaller elements have been seen before and how many larger ones are ahead. The product of these gives us the number of valid triplets where this element is in the center. Now for efficiency. The time complexity of this approach is O n log n because we perform log n operations for each element with the Fenwick tree. Space complexity is O n for storing the mapping and tree structure. So instead of brute forcing our way through the problem, we navigate smartly using mapping and Fenwick trees, making this problem feel like a smooth sail rather than a stormy sea. And that's how you find the good triplets, by charting the course and reading the map carefully. Now go grab your accepted flag.